Uh, greetings fish friends. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Not much has been happening here till recently. Our, uh, these guys are fully mature. Look at this. Remember these rainbow fish from last year? These sunset rainbows? That's a male and this is a female. The two that survived? One's a male and one's a female. And guess what? They laid eggs every day. And we got 48 eggs in this five gallon over here. And they they can't really see anything. They're, they're too tiny, right? Here, maybe you could do it. My camera person will help me here. Just let you guys see if you can. Uh, there's about three babies that hatch, so. And we got baby Sturby here, too. I'll show you him later. He's getting bigger. And uh, got more Sturby eggs. Uh -oh. And they lay, these guys lay eggs. It's a really big surprise. I was, a, I was reading that they... The uh, mature and uh, rainbow fish mature in like 11 months, this species, but uh, Melatania parva, they're called. Can't pronounce that first word, but parva or sun, I call them sunset rainbows, right? So, and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, they're mature already, they're maybe nine months old, so. These guys are very rare, are rare apparently. I don't know anybody around here that has them, so well, that's not the point. It's just that they hatched, and I'm very happy. So, um, yeah. I'll show you the uh, baby stirbys. That the three that survived, they're doing well. They're in the tank with their parents now. Still haven't got any. Still haven't got any uh, gravel for the 55 gallon. It's gonna take time. We've had another snail outbreak, unfortunately, but I contained it. Killed them all. So, uh, in the fish room downstairs. And that one male uh, albinos is uh, with his parents now. He's big. So this uh, five gallon here is our rearing tank that we keep going at all times. Always going. And they also got some blue velvet shrimp downstairs. They're doing well. They're hard to they're hard to see because they like to hide a lot in the Amazon soy plants. So I gotta order some uh, special food for these guys from Amazon, see if they have it. So and um, for those of you that are wondering how to feed them for the first month, these guys are hard to take care of. Just use uh, you boil an you boil an egg yolk, boil an egg. Take the egg yolk, smush it up in uh, warm water, and you feed it with an eyedropper. Only a few strips at a time, probably in the morning or in the in the evening before you go to bed, or several times a day. I'll show you guys how that's done. So the camera person here is done, and right here is a baby stir. We've got one baby stir by in here. Yeah, you can see him. He's likes to blend in. He's right, he's right there. Uh, anyway, here's the proud parents right here. Hold on, I gotta zoom this out a bit. There we go. That's a spawning mop. We we get three to ten eggs, five to ten eggs every day. And here's the babies. Well, the baby stir by there. I'm trying to get you guys to see it. Uh, hiding. There's one right there. See him right there? Hiding behind the spawning mop there. That's one of them. There's another one right there. See him? Yeah. These guys are about three months old. And uh, we got some more stir by eggs right there. A whole bunch of them. Probably about 30 of them in there. So. And a uh, piece of advice. Uh, we hatch our eggs with uh, with uh, peroxide. Make sure to check the expire. We were wondering why none of our eggs were uh, hatching. It's because, and the fungus was developing. That's because the old uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, was expired. So make sure if you're trying to hatch any kind of eggs uh, and you're using peroxide, make sure it's not expired, right? Because it, it, uh, you'll get less effective results. Anyway, I'll take you guys downstairs so you can see what's going on down there. 
Uh, got a crap load of guppies. We're trying to sell them. I'm going to be advertising more for them, so. Oh, no, we're going, going downstairs right now. <coughs> I plan, in, Septem in September, I plan an order. I have a week off from work, so I plan on ordering some uh, Millennium Rainbow Fish. Oh. I guess I should put the lights on because uh, everything, because electricity is so expensive here in Canada. So I've been keeping the lights off. So I'm going to turn them, I turn them on when I get home, but just been very tired from my job. So these guys are really hungry. Look at that. They swarm as soon as they see me. Uh, <laughs> these are all the females, right? And these are the babies. I'm trying to control the breeding because I don't want any breeding going on. These are all the males. We've got more. These guys are up for sale. $7 each per them. If you're close to uh, here in Alberta, just let me know. And these are the... Uh, and these guys are the... Uh, and there's tiger and they're making a comeback slowly. They're very, very sensitive to, to water conditions. Got to watch at all times. Yeah. There's the baby albino. Not so baby anymore. See that guy, small guy? Yeah, he's about two months old. Oh, yeah, we gotta do a water, we're going to do a water change on these. All three of these tanks are getting water changes this weekend. So, And see if you can see any shrimp. See the size of that... Uh, Amazon sword plant, yeah, they're hiding in there somewhere. Uh, I've got about three in there, so. So, I apologize for no content in three, in three months, but I can't post content if I don't have anything new to tell you or what to give, right? So, it's been uh, pretty crazy. I'm not a big fan of Apache here, right? I fish don't care much for it, you know? I fish don't care much for it. I don't know why they just don't care much for it, but uh, uh, this is a I really like the shrimp food here, and I actually found I found some omega one uh, catfish pellets. I'm kind of disappointed with these before before I really liked them, but uh, they 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 float now. They don't sink right away, which I'm very disappointed in. So. But these, these, this food I really like. This is what gets my, this, if you want your catfish to, if you want your cat corridors to spawn, or catfish to spawn, or whatever, bottom, bottom dollars, feed them this stuff. It's really awesome. It's Tetra. I know a lot of people don't like Tetra products, but I do. I like Tetra. As I use this right here, right? I also like uh, bug bites. That's my, that's, they love bug bites. Spirulina, I got all kinds, right? Feed them that, and feed them this. And I went through this a million times. Tropical flakes, but these these are very cheap, like seven dollars at Walmart in Canada. I don't know how much it is in the state for them for my American subscribers. I don't know how much they are down there, but they're probably like maybe five bucks, six dollars down there. I'm not sure. And uh, I got a new food they like too. It's called Tetra Fun Tips. Oh, hold on. Ah. See these? These stick to the side of the glass. You just stick them on the side of the glass of the aquarium and the fish just eat them. One side is brine chip and the other side is spirulina. Here, I'll take one out to show you. I feed this once in a while because it's kind of expensive. See? That side is uh, brine shrimp and this side is spirulina. You just stick it in the side of the glass. Here, I'll show you. Uh, yes, just calm down. Here, watch this. I'm just going nuts over it. Look at that. I call these guys the swarm. I feed them, I feed these guys about three times a day. I feed them more at night, because in the morning I'm up, I gotta be up at four o'clock at work, so I feed them then, and then shut the lights off all day, and then when I come home I put the lights on. And then, if, right now I'm just showing you this, they have to be fed still, I'm gonna do it in a, in a little bit. And then later on, probably about three or two or three hours after they eat, I'll give them some more, because there's lots, right? So, these are all females. I keep an eye on them so I don't want any any breeding allowed. And here's the males right here. Yeah, I got one female in there. Can't catch her. Been trying to catch her. She was a baby that got stuck in there somehow. I'm not sure. 
She had babies, so there's a few babies in here, but uh, I don't care if they get eaten or not, but they're surviving. So I know it's kind of cool to say, but these guys I like. These guys I like. Um, they're making a comeback. Yeah. It's hard to believe. It's sad these guys are extinct in the wild, you know. It really is sad. These tiger antlers, right? And theirs are extinct in the wild, so it's sad to see that. Oh, it floated off. Oh, it's on the bottom there. Yeah. When you put them on the glass, you gotta attach it, so. Anyway, I'll quickly feed them some Omega 1 color flakes. It's okay. They're, they're so pricey, you know. It's very expensive. Omega 1. Just this bottle here, I think it was $16, $17 for uh, many ounces. 2.2 .2 ounces was six, $17. <laughs> it's it's just ridiculous, the prices for, for fish food. So I have a supplier that I buy from regularly. But these, I can't buy Omega-1 products. He sells Hikari, so I buy I buy a lot of Hikari from him. And I buy a lot of New Life Spectrum, so feeding these guys right now here as you can see <clears throat> the swarm but anyway that's going to be the video for today I don't know when I'll post them that I'll keep you guys posted on the uh, rainbow fish babies alright you guys take care and have a good day and I'll see you in the next video alright bye bye oh yes and if you like what you see please subscribe because I want to grow my channel alright Take care and bye-bye.